How would you like to know that a certain person is from the people of Jannah? Now, like I tell you, this guy is from the people of Jannah. Can we say that? As our aqidah, as people of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah, we cannot confirm to anyone that he is 100% from the people of Jannah or this 100% from the people of the Hellfire. But Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he gave us a sign. In many ahadith, I will mention three of them. Rasulullah sallallahu said, soon you will be able to find out who are the people of Jannah and who are the people of the hellfire. They said, how ya Rasulullah? He said, with praise and condemnation, you are Allah's witnesses upon one another. That's the first hadith. Second hadith, a janazah passed by and the Sahaba praised the deceased. So Rasulullah said, it has became certain, it became certain, it became certain. Then another janazah passed by and the Sahaba condemned the guy. They said bad things about the deceased. Rasulullah said, wajabat, wajabat, wajabat. He said the same exact thing. He said, Ya Rasulullah, the first one we praised, you say wajabat. And the second one we, we condemned and you said wajabat. He said, the first one that you praised, wajabat lahu al-jannah. The one that you praised in the beginning, jannah became a must, became due to him. And the one you condemned, jahannam, hellfire, became due to him or to her. Third hadith, final hadith. The people of jannah are the ones whom Allah fill their ears with the praise of people while they are listening. And the people of the hellfire are the people whom Allah fill their ears with condemnation, people's condemnation, and they are listening. Now, if you look at that, all the three hadith, what is that sign that indicate that a person who's walking among us, living among us, is from the people of Jannah or from the people of the hellfire? It is the reputation among the community. What do people say about you? And don't get that confused by doing things to please people. No, 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 no. The, multi- the amal will be multiplied by zero. Naturally, by nature, you love to help. By nature, you always visit the sick. By nature, you look where is there's a janaza. By nature, whoever is tight in his finances, you go and support him. By nature, you love to do this amal because... Allah ordered you, number one, they bring you close to Allah. And this is, this becomes, look at the last hadith. Rasulullah said, Allah filled his ears with praise while he's listening. طيب, when Allah fills his ear with the praise, he's obviously listening. Why is the word, and he's listening? I mean, it's filled with his ears. He's obviously listening. This is for exaggeration of how good is that person that his reputation became so good that wherever he goes, people talk about him. This man, wallahi, ya Allah, I remember when I needed this, he was there for me. When I moved, he came to help me. When I was in the hospital, he visited me. When I was going through hardship, he was the first one who came and put money in the bank for me. He is always there for me or the other kind and subhanallah we can name so many from our hukam uh-huh. you know who's always you know you could you hear this guy cursed him this guy cursed him everywhere you go they are cursing that president they're cursing that king they're cursing that ruler because of what they have done to their people their their ears themselves is filled with the condemnation of the people and they're hearing it on a daily basis subhan rasulullah the hadith is blunt straightforward the people of the hellfire whom their reputation in the community, in the country, in the state, in the village, is evil. Everybody is, oh, brother, let's go visit that guy. Oh, please leave me alone. I don't want to even see him. Or on the, the contrary, you know, ah, oh, subhanallah, wallahi, yani, anytime you need this brother, you, you find him there. You need it, you have a problem? Go to this brother. He will always help you. Subhanallah. So, ya akhwan. This is an opportunity. This is a great opportunity from Rasulullah Sallallahu to know, am I from the people of Jannah or am I from the people of the hellfire? Of course, there's nothing called guaranteed because it's all the amal are by the way they end, right? So, but I can, inshallah ta'ala, always help in any form. Be generous, be kind, be loving, be caring, especially to your family, especially to your spouse, especially to your parents. Huh? And then anybody in need, be the first one. Do not wait for your brother who told you already that he lost his job. Do not wait for him to tell you, brother, I'm in need. Yani yeah, somebody lost his job and he's been out of work for three, four months. What do you expect? You by yourself. By yourself. This is the true brother. Wallahi, a brother came to me the other day and he said, Staz, remember a 
few years ago when this, 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 and this happened. Of course, of course I remember. He said, brother so-and-so, Allah, he came to me and without me noticing, he put in my pocket $5,000 and he left. I said, since that day, he said, Wallahi, even though I gave it back to him, uh -huh, but I will never forget what he has done to me. Never. Subhanallah. So these are the brothers that, you know, you're always mentioning them with good. Anytime that uh, you need help, who's the first person who comes to your mind? That's the brother we're talking about. Are you that brother? When people are going through hardship or they need any kind of help, are you the person that comes to mind or are you the last person that come to mind? Because you're going to give so many excuses. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us all from the people of Jannah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us away from the hellfire. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. My beloved brothers and sisters, one of the most reassuring signs of being on the path to Jannah is a sincere belief in Allah and His guidance. Those who wholeheartedly submit to Allah seeking His pleasure in every action and embracing faith with humility often experience a deep sense of peace and purpose. This sincerity in belief and dedication to worship even when alone or facing challenges is a powerful indication of striving for Jannah. Acts of kindness, charity and generosity done purely for the sake of Allah are beloved acts that increase one's chances of entering Jannah. Whether helping family, supporting the needy or being compassionate in daily interactions, consistency and consistently choosing good over selfishness and cruelty reflects a heart inclined towards pleasing Allah. Those who engage in good deeds out of love and humility show a sign of Allah's favor upon them. Enduring trials with patience and remaining grateful in times of ease is a trait that Allah promises to reward. Life's test from health challenges to financial struggles are opportunities to grow closer to Allah and those two remain patient trusting in Allah's wisdom display a sign of Jannah's hope likewise expressing gratitude for Allah's blessings and remembering him often is a reminder of a person's love for the Creator and their hope in his reward Help us build an Islamic studio at www.islamicstudio.org. Link in the description. Help us build an Islamic studio at www.islamicstudio.org. Link in the description. Help us build an Islamic studio at www.islamicstudio.org. Link in the description. Help us build an Islamic studio at www.islamicstudio.org. Link in the description.